What's going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Messiah? So, um, it's official. Somebody actually had enough backbone to come call me out. And then, under the comment section of the people that I've been going after that has been preaching a false narrative, once saved, always saved, and rapture, comment under this man's comment section. Now... This guy wanted to try to supposedly ex expose me, right, um, from a a back and uh, from a uh, a back and forth that we had earlier, or an exchange of words, and he immediately got on the offensive with me, and was putting exclamation marks behind his comment and trying to put some bass in his voice like he's moving or he's shaking somebody. Bro, come on now. You ain't moving nothing. You ain't shaking nothing, bro. You're really not. You want to call me a false prophet? Okay, that's cool. I, I want to give you mad, I give you mad respect and mad kudos for calling yourself trying to expose me or call me a false prophet when I'm actually, when I'm actually com a commissioned prophet by the most high. Um, and uh, there is a p passage of scripture in the Bible that says to know the word of father and not to argue about it. I suggest you uh, look that up, brother. Furthermore, um, ultimately at the end of the day, Father God called me to be a prophet. And um, there's many different offices or many different functions of a prophet. You got seers who get visions. You got prophets that prophesy. You got prophets that come and edify the church or edify, break down and pluck down and restore unsound doctrine. Rapture is unsound doctrine and it's a doctrine straight from the pits of hell. But kudos again to you for, for calling yourself trying to call me out. But before you want to call yourself trying to expose me, you need to learn how to, pr uh, to pronounce your words or to pronounce the, wor the words that I, that I messaged you back. Okay, brother? You're sitting here getting hostile with me for no reason. You don't know me just like I don't know you. You don't know what's been going on in between me and Watchmen on the Wall, and Chelsea Bedell, and Tim Henderson, and Greg Jackson, and all these people that I called out. I'm doing what Father God commissioned me to do. So I suggest, I suggest that you choose your words wisely. And I suggest that you back off. Because Father God does not play about his children, nor does he play about his prophets. And I am commissioned by Father to be a prophet. So I suggest you keep your nose out of business that does not pertain to you. And I'm going to pray for you, brother. I didn't... The, the video, the 40 eight long minute long video that you made about me i didn't take offense to it you can't offend me i have rough skin nobody can offend me but again i want to give i want to give you mad props for supposedly trying to expose me and call me out you're the first one that actually had enough backbone to try to call me out but every time I expose anybody, I am exposing them with Father's living word. And I got scriptures to back it up. I'm not just some loose cannon or, or some random Muslim guy, like you said, Muslim thug, 
that is sitting here just railing against people. I actually have scriptures to back up everything that I, that I say out of Father's living word. I wouldn't dare call anybody out or rebuke them unless I got my ammunition with me. Unless I have my sword with me. Which is the living word of Father. You're getting all hostile and trying to get gangster with me for what? Am I supposed to be intimidated? Am I supposed to be scared and shooken up? Well, guess what, brother? I'm not. I'm not. You ain't shaking nothing, brother. You ain't moving nothing. I'm not some frail tree that, that can be tossed to and fro with doctrines of demons. I am a rock, brother. I am a rock. I, and I stand on my rock firmly. And when I go ten toes down on something, not you or anybody else is going to shake nothing or move nothing. I promise you that. I forgive you, brother. And I didn't even take it personal. I, you, you didn't offend me, not even a little bit. When you called yourself trying to make a video exposing me as a false prophet or calling me out. I suggest you go back and watch some of my videos and every video that I have made, I have used scriptures from Father's Living Word. I didn't go off the top of my dome. I didn't just start railing against these people for no reason. Nevertheless, ultimately at the end of the day, brother, like I said, I give you mad props. I got mad respect for you because you're the first one that actually had the backbone to come call me out. Even though, even though your argument was faulty and um, you called me a false prophet. But it's cool. Again, brother, I suggest you watch how you talk to me. I suggest you watch how you talk to me. Because you are speaking to a prophet of the Most High. And Father God does not play about his prophets. So, with that being said, I love you as all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. Father loves you. Father bless you. Father keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.